channel we are working on that BMW 46 and we'll be removing the rear bumper today stay with us don't forget to subscribe guys thank you for the support and don't forget to check out our main channel world mechanics it's down there in the description it's growing crazy fast so we're removing that bumper the car was in an accident as you can see and we want to see how bad it is it doesn't look bad at all but we want to see see exactly what it is and uh, we still need to adjust it a little bit here because it came off the track you can see all the uh, bracket so we're going to adjust that but what you need to do guys to remove those bumpers it's pretty simple actually uh, some years might have a few little bitty differences but mostly the same that clip right there we need to remove you need to pry the center piece out okay and then pull the, the whole clip out okay just like that and this one is a little bit cracked some model might have an 8 millimeter bolt underneath this one does not and we need to go to the other side now and we need to do the same thing on this side as well okay you can see the same clip that's the one holding the bumper towards the bracket on the bottom side okay you can see that's the clip you pull the mi middle piece out and then the rest of it next what we need to do guys you need to actually lay underneath it there is two holes under the bumper and that's where with the t52 we're going to remove two bolts okay let me show you towards the back of the car okay you can see where the towel hook is okay that's where okay, that's where the t2 is right there there is a bolt so we're going to get that one loose all the way see it's coming off you can see the head of the bolt spinning there and we have one more like that okay it came loose okay just like that now okay that's the that's the socket we're using you can see t50 hours is twisted it shouldn't be that way but it still works good and an extension and we have one more that one more like that on the other side some models might have a smaller hole so you might need a narrower narrower socket like that or just a long screwdriver t50 uh, which is not very easy to find to be honest with you okay but this one you can actually take it off and you can put the extension and then just reduce the socket from the inside and there is another bolt like that on this side okay so we need to remove that one as well it's not very complicated at all okay and they're pretty tight at first and then they're not so tight okay cheating a little bit with a little impact so we can <laughs> save some time and we don't waste your time guys just watching us unscrewing a bolt for 10 minutes that's what the bolt looks like okay you can see that's it okay that's the head of the bolt so we have two of those Alright okay guys, now you need to grab and pull towards the back. Don't pull towards the outside. Okay, you need to pull towards the back. And uh, we actually need to go to the other side. Pull a little bit there as well. Need to be careful that the bumper doesn't fall. Okay, so you need to be holding it. Because now it's gonna come off. Okay, I'm holding it here. And it slid back, so we need to pull it again. A little bit, okay, it gets stuck. And now it needs to come off to the side. Okay, like that, once you go to the back, you go a little bit to the side. Okay guys, and that's the bumper cover right there. All right guys, so that's the whole procedure. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe. We appreciate your support and thank you for watching us.